Hey, it's Granny Bess. I have here Isabella the dog. I'm thinking of taking her for a little walk, but it's 63 degrees outside and she is so little that she has to wear clothes at 63 degrees. So we have her wardrobe. Now let's see, what shall we wear today? Here is purple. Ooh, that's a nice one. Another purple sweater. Hmm. And then we have the winter puff jacket. You want to wear that, Isabella? Huh? Okay. Let's see what else we got here. We have, um, oh, the Christmas selection. Yes, there's one. And here's another Christmas one. She's got the Christmas sweaters, all right. There you go. And what's this? Oh, another puff jacket. Okay. And then we have the, what I call the Elvis jacket. A little denim there, it's sparkly denim with little jewels on it. And this is the only one that fits her. It's just a little teeny one. And we have a, another purple one. Somebody thought she'd be good in purple. Look at that. So, um, Izzy, why don't we wear the denim Elvis jacket? Putting it on her is a ordeal in itself because she crawls on me. Stick your foot through there. Yeah, okay. Come on. She knows. And then she gets tangled in my clothes. And now we have her foot, both feet through the armholes. So the question is, can we get it Velcroed together in the right place before she steps out of it, which she does often. Now, if I just leave it, is that cute? Look at the cute dog. There she is in her little outfit. If I just leave it Velcroed together like that, she walks right out of it. So I have to put a harness on her to hold the thing on. Let's see, how does this work, is he? And that unfortunately involves putting your feet in the right holes again. Ooh, we got one on. Okay, that's one. Let's try for the second one. Put your foot in there. Good, is he? And snapping it before she walks out of it. <laughs> is he? And this little harness holds the jacket on. And here's Izzy, ready to do something. Go for a walk, Izzy. A walk to Isabella is like to the mailbox and back. That's about it. Especially in any cold weather. She's so short haired and so small that <laughs> any amount of coolness lower than 75 degrees is is cool. Is you look terrible. <laughs> Why are you sad? You wanted to go for a walk. Yes, you did. You wanted to go for a walk. Yes, you did. Oh, well, okay. Why don't you put those ears up? Let everybody see how beautiful you are. Hmm? Put those ears up. There you go. There's a pretty girl. Okay, let's go for a walk. Isabella on her walk. Hey, Izzy. Oh, she's cold. <laughs> we better go back in, Izzy. Well, at 63 degrees, 
I too must wear clothes. Here we are, Izzy finished her little walk to the mailbox and back. And now it's time for Granny to get to work. I have to water the garden and water the microgreens and the forage plants and harvest some microgreens and all kinds of things to do. Not to for forget to give the chickens their snacks. Anyway, Izzy better go back inside. <laughs> She's shivering, even with her jacket on. You're not that cold, silly dog. He's a, she's a climbing chihuahua. Okay, you can go in there. This is what she likes best. She stopped shivering when I put my coat over the top of her. What a dog. This is a dog? No, this is ears with legs. Say something, Izzy. No? Okay, let's go in. It's in my little makeshift greenhouse. Most of these are tropical plants, so temperature's been getting down to right on freezing, 32 at night. They would not survive outdoors. But one of them, I cannot believe this, is trying to bloom. Look at this. A little bud blooming. Oh my goodness, okay. 32 degrees didn't do the tomatoes any good. They're done. But the kale and the chard, oh, they're still happy as clams. It's the cat, giving up her cat food to the chickens. Did you have enough Godzilla? Can the cat have some now? The cat got a couple of bites and then everybody came, chased her away. So this is the rest of the Isabella story. And there's the cutie girl herself who wants to be cuddled and petted. Um, a little over a year ago, my daughter was delivering groceries and she delivered to a house of a person who rescued chihuahuas. And the lady asked Diana, my daughter, if she would adopt this little teacup chihuahua. She was already a year old at the time. And the story the lady told about her is that she got her out from under a house where she'd been for a week because she was so scared the guy that owned her couldn't get her out. Um, originally, she was at some sort of puppy mill place and she was a breeding stock and she killed her own first litter because she couldn't feed them. And then the guy that owned her at that point sold her to another guy. And as soon as she got to her new house, she ran away. So she was skin and bone. She, she'd been under the house for a week and scared of everybody and everything. And so my daughter decided that I should have her. That's how I got this dog. I've never had a dog smaller than a German Shepherd. I've always had big dogs, but um, I didn't want a big dog because of my chickens right now. So here I am with Isabella, the little cutie. And here's Happy the cat trying to get in the video too. <laughs> Anyway, Isabella's all fattened up now, and she's more than two years old, so this is it. This is as big as she gets. Be cute for the screen, Izzy. There she is. I call her ears with legs. By the way, 
today, the room I'm in is the gallery room of my house. I'm an artist by profession. I got my trees lit up. Not to mention my house. <laughs> 